How does a jet engine work? Have you ever had this question? Or have you ever wondered why helicopters and airplanes are so powerful? We clarify these questions in this video, as intuitive and simple as it gets, with the latest animations of a real engine. In our case, we look into a turboshaft engine of the type Ariel 2 that powers many helicopters and has logged many millions of flight hours. Basically, an airplane, jet, or turbofan engine also works this way. We will tell you about the minor differences later on. In a helicopter, the turboshaft engine is used to produce the power needed to drive the main and tail rotor and for the power supply of additional devices, such as the generator and the hydraulic pump. The working principle of the engine is very simple. The combustion of kerosene produces a light gas that expands due to the heat and generates high pressure. The Ariel 2 engine burns the air-fuel mixture in an annular combustion chamber. This gas flows over the blades of the power turbine and turns the power output shaft, which is finally connected to the rotor system. To provide the sufficient air for the process, a compressor is required. The compressor stage is mounted on a different shaft that is not connected to the power output shaft. An axial and a centrifugal compressor are used for this type of engine. On this other shaft, in addition to the compressor stage, there is another turbine, the so-called gas generator turbine. The gas generator turbine directly drives the compressor stage. The Ariel 2 engine has a built-in reduction gear to reduce the engine speed. However, to further reduce the speed and transmit the torque of the engine, another separate gearbox is required. Now, let's clarify the differences to an engine, which is used in fixed-wing aircrafts. In a turboprop aircraft, the difference lies in the fact that the shaft power is used to drive propellers instead of rotors. In a turbofan plane, such as a commercial airliner, the engine is designed in a way so that the shaft drives a large fan, which, together with the weaker exhaust stream ejected through a nozzle, generates the thrust required for the airplane to move forward. In a fighter jet, almost all the thrust is generated by the hot, expanding exhaust gases ejected through a nozzle. This is known as a turbojet engine. This design consumes more fuel than a turbofan engine, but allows higher speeds due to the faster gas flow generated by such an engine. There are many more interesting complex processes in an engine that would go beyond the scope of this video. But the next time you sit in an airplane or a helicopter, you might remember the simple and yet very complex technology of propulsion technology. Thank you for watching.